Welcome back to Sprague for Homestead on a beautiful February morning. Almost a little too bright. <laughs> I'm Nikki, and here is your Mailbag Monday question of the week. So this week's question was emailed in, and the question is, how do you keep your rabbit's water from freezing in the winter? It's a fairly common question. I see it in a lot of groups. Um, there is no easy answer to this. It varies greatly on how how cold are you getting. Um, now, for us, we keep our rabbits in a barn. It's an unheated barn, uh, fairly short roof. I think we're only eight feet at the peak. Stackers on each side. So uh, we do have the roof insulated with, I want to say, one-inch um, uh, foam board. Uh, so it is kind of sort of insulated, at least in the roof, but not in the walls. Uh, and then we have screen doors on either end, um, the normal storm doors with the windows. Um now, for us, we can usually get, uh, keep it about 10 degrees warmer in the barn than it is outside. So, for us, we we use normal water bottles down to uh, your, your low 20s. Uh, sometimes I get lucky if it hasn't, if it's not real, real cold for a long, long time, uh, we can get them all the way down into the teens. But, Generally speaking, uh, somewhere around 20, we'll start to get some ice in the bottles. Uh, if we get into the mid-teens, lower teens, that kind of thing, uh, it, it, we can even freeze a bottle all the way solid. It takes it takes a while. Um, but in general, if you're outside using hutches, and this is where we get the most questions, is keeping water wet in the winter um, on outside hutches, you're not going to have a whole lot of options. If you're just barely getting below freezing, uh, you can add, uh, I think it's a, it's two tablespoons apple cider vinegar per gallon, and it'll acidif acidify the water just enough that you can usually get down to about 30 without the water bottles freezing. That's not very far. I mean, it's just not. They do make heated water bottles if you have electricity out wherever you're keeping your rabbits. Um, I don't know because they've changed a lot over the years. They used to only be good for like down to 25. I think they're now down into the teens that they'll keep water going. Um, you'd have to do a little research there. I'm not exactly sure on the electric ones. I don't use them. They're expensive. And for the volume of rabbits that I have, it, it doesn't do me any good. So with that, the biggest part of uh, water bottles freezing in the winter, the first thing that freezes is, is the tube the drinking tube on a water bottle. And that's really where the frustration usually comes from because you can deal with a bottle that's got some ice in it, crack it open, it's fine. But getting ice out of the nozzles can be pretty hard. That's why most rabbit breeders in the winter will actually go to Crocs. Uh, either, you know, actual, don't use ceramic because they tend to bust, but you can use like plastic ones from the Dollar Tree that are basically dog and cat bowls. Um, I've seen people use ceramic. It usually ends badly. You can sometimes get stainless steel bowls for fairly cheap. Um, the rabbits that are not in the house that I have outside in the flush clean with just, uh, you know, kind of one of those tarp covers. I use the big 20 ounce uh, Easy Crocs. You can get them through Bass, KW, pretty much any rabbit supply store. And they have prongs and they fit up against the wire. And then they've got like an M clip that slides down over the back and holds it in. Um, you can use that. A lot of people just water the rabbits two and three times a day. I know if you're in a really cold environment, like we've had times where our daytime temperature never hit above freezing. And that's all we can do. We can do we do our bottles because, like I said, the bar buildings stay a little bit warmer. So I will bring all the bottles in, pack a bunch in the sink, heat them up, empty them out, thaw them out, refill them. Uh, I try not to ever fill them more than about halfway uh, because it's a whole lot easier to get half a block of ice out than a full block. And uh, thaw them out, refill them, take them out. In the evening, do it again. Um, I If I do it, if I'm doing twice a day, usually in the evening, I might only give them a quarter of a bottle. And I know a lot of people go, well, that's not enough water. If it freezes solid, they're not getting it anyway. And it's a whole lot easier to empty out a cup of frozen water than it is, you know, two cups of frozen water or four cups of frozen water because your big bottles are generally about 32 ounces. So, so the last way to keep water from freezing um, 
it, and it's expensive. I don't think it's worth it for most uh, small growers, but you may look into it. A recirculating pump. Uh, for people that use like a five-gallon bucket or a bigger cistern-type deal and use the automated water systems that are all plumbed in for each individual cage, they do make recirculating pumps where the main PVC that runs along the front, because uh, the rabbits, for each individual rabbit, usually there's a nipple that comes out into each cage. Um, they make a recirculating pump so that you plumb the entire line with it coming all the way back into the original uh, vessel, whatever it is. Like I said, you can use five gallon buckets or whatever. And the pump, if you've got electricity, the pump will keep the water moving. Now at some point, even these will fail if it's that cold. Uh, but in most environments, uh, if you can keep it above probably 18 or so, you should be able to get, depending on the recirculating pump, you should be able to get it to recirc enough to keep it from freezing. It's kind of like the same principle of leaving your faucet in the house cracked open to keep it from freezing up. All right, guys, that is my answers to the question. I'm sure you were hoping that I was going to have some magic bullet, but look, I can't keep water from freezing either. Um, all you can do is try and work your way around it. Uh, we have different strategies for different animals, but usually with the rabbits, unless it's really, really cold, we just muscle through. I've been known to take out a thing of hot water, pull nipples off. Shake them in the hot water until you get the nipples to, to thaw out. Crack the ice in, refill and go. But there are times that even that isn't enough. Uh, and that's what we do the, the twice a day. Thaw the, thaw the bottles, refill the bottles, and take the bottles back out. So if you have questions, you can always leave them down in the comments. You can email them in to me. Uh, Facebook Messenger works fine. Instagram, I don't always see for some reason. Um, but you can send me messages if you would like to have your question featured in one of these YouTube videos coming up. Just so you know, we are looking at Rumble. We've had a whole bunch of people asking us about Rumble. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of homesteading activity on Rumble. Uh, and it's just, for people who don't know what it is, it's just another platform. It's very similar to YouTube. But uh, we are looking into that. That More on that if we decide to go that direction to come. So that's it for me today. I'm going to get out and enjoy this beautiful sunshine and see if I can get some work done. Happy homesteading! <laughs>